Welcome back and I've got another fun and unusual experiment for you today. What this one's called, without giving too much away, is the jumping ring experiment. So let's have a quick look at the apparatus I've got in front of me. And it's not as complicated as it looks. I've just got a stand here with some iron bars in it. So these are uh, separate little bits of iron. And at the bottom of the iron bars on the stand, I've got a coil of wire. I didn't count how many turns this is, uh, but I think it's about 80. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an aluminium ring and drop it onto the top of the iron bars. Um, the top of them is just out of shot here. And connect my coil of wire to a high current AC low voltage power supply. And so what we'll do now is we'll turn on and see what happens. So we're all ready to go and I wonder if you know what will happen when we turn on the power supply. So three, two, one, go. So this is a lovely little experiment and you can see why it's called the jumping ring experiment. So what we need now is a little bit of an explanation. So the physics we need to explain this uh, goes under the topic title of Lenz's Law. What we've got here is a coil of wire with AC current passing through it. So there's a changing magnetic field. That changing magnetic field is also present in these iron bars. And that changing magnetic field coming in and out of this system cuts at 90 degrees through this little aluminium ring that's getting quite warm now. The next process is gonna take a little bit more explaining. It's what happens in the aluminium ring to cause it to levitate like this. So let's take this a little bit further. We've got the magnetic field due to this coil, the AC um, current passing through the coil, causing this changing magnetic field that cuts through the ring. It's interesting to note that the magnetic field is in that sort of a direction, going up the bars and round. And what we have is a ring in this direction. They're at 90 degrees to each other. And a changing magnetic field cutting through one turn of wire will induce a voltage in that and because it's a complete circuit because it's a, a single turn you'll get a large current forming in it and that large current causes it to get hot due to ohmic heating due to its resistance and also it creates a magnetic field due to the ring so we've got the changing magnetic field in these iron bars creating a current in the ring and the current in the ring creating its own magnetic field and that's the key to why it's currently hovering. So I hope that bit of the explanation makes sense to you, that there's a current in this ring and the magnetic field due to that current opposes the magnetic field due to this coil down here. Now the reason it hovers is the force of opposition is upwards, but we've got the weight of the ring due to the gravitational field downwards. And when those two are equal and opposite, the ring will hover in place. But there's something else we can do which changes things slightly. OK, so let's change things slightly. I'm going to take this ring off the top and I'm going to replace it with an identical ring. But this one's got a slit in it. It's being cut down the side. So we'll drop that one on. And nothing works at all. So something's going on here. And can you work out why this ring is not hovering like the complete ring did. So let's explain why this isn't working and it's a nice uh, adaptation of this experiment. We've still got the changing magnetic field here. We've still got a changing magnetic field cutting through this split ring. We probably have got a small voltage generated across the gap in the split ring, but because it's not a complete circuit, it can't drive any current. So there's no current in this split ring, 
So there's no magnetic field created by that current. So there's no opposition. So the ring doesn't jump at all. So I hope you enjoyed this lovely little experiment, the jumping ring experiment, and you feel now you can explain how it works. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.